Hello! Welcome back to my channel! Thank you so much for being here! That was super sweet of you! Oh my gosh, did you notice that my butterfly clips are looking a little larger than life today? That's because they're not butterfly clips at all! They're freaking moths! Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with these! They're so cute! I got these for free with a skincare order that I placed recently from a company called Good Light. They just include free moth clips when you order their Luna pimple patches. Their whole like theming and everything is based around moths and I thought these were so cute oh my gosh look how large they are compared to like my normal butterfly clips like these are my little butterfly clips and these are my moth clips and I think they're so cute they're almost like little crystallized the things that excite me are just unbelievable but you know what who cares just allow yourself to be cringe allow yourself to be excited about the things that excite you and you will have a lot more fun in your life trust me but that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to see my new moth clips. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in me trying a bunch of Glisten Cosmetics split liners. So Glisten Cosmetics was kind enough to send me some of their split liners in PR, which is so, so sweet of them. I have been loving this brand ever since I tried them for the first time back in May. I first tried one of their split liner palettes from Glisten and I fell in love with the formula immediately. This is the Opulence palette from Glisten Cosmetics done in collaboration with Be Muse by Betty. Absolutely love this. 10 out of 10. Made me fall in love with the formula so much so that I ordered another one of their liners from Beauty Bay. I have one of their iridescent liners that I can't find right now but I've just been loving Glisten Cosmetics ever since I first tried them and so now I have a bunch of their split liners which I have a bunch of different colors but let me show you one. So their split liner pots much like their split liner palettes give you two different options from colors. Well, honestly, they give you three different options for colors because you get the one on this side, the one on this side, and then you get the beautiful combination that it makes in the middle. And this is not going to be a full first impressions because I have been trying them for a little while. You know, I wanted to get to know these products before I gave you my thorough review. So as you can see, the shade Strawberry Cheesecake has already been mixed. I've already tried three different variations of the colors. And spoiler alert, I love them. But of course, we're going to demo them today. We're going to demo them on the eyes. I also went ahead and already used the red velvet shade. As you can see, ooh, it looks like a little peace sign here. As you can see in Strawberry Cheesecake, I mixed right in the middle, which definitely makes it harder to get both individual colors. But in this one, I did more of a peace sign mixture where I like use this side, use this side, and then mix the two of them on the bottom. So that's where I've had the most success with mixing, but I'm sure you don't want to hear me just talk about these liners. You'll want to see me put them on my eyes. So, if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to see me play around with the Glisten Cosmetics split liners, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. All right, so I think we should start off this video by going through all of the shades of split liners that I do have just so you can get a sense for the variety we're looking at here. So this shade is called Strawberry Cheesecake and as you can see, it's a mixture of a pastel pink and a hot pink shade, more of a neon pink. Then we have Red Velvet, which is a mixture of a deep maroon, like a dark reddish brown shade and a more primary red. We also have Banoffee, which I love the name of, that really is perfect for this, which has your classic primary yellow, your banana shade if you will, mixed with a more golden yellow, kind of a mustardy brown, which is where your, your coffee comes in, your banoffee. Then we have the shade Camo, which you can see we have a vibrant, limey, I guess almost pastel. It's kind of like mm, almost pastel, kind of a neon-y, limey shade, and also a more hunter green shade, a deeper green. Then we have Slushy, which is a mixture of a very much sky blue, a nice pale blue, mixed with a deep navy blue. And then lastly, I have the shade Coke Float, which is essential in everybody's water activated liner arsenal with a black and a white. All right, so the way that I want to try to showcase all of these colors today, because of course I want you to be able to see like swatches of everything, but rather than just like swatch it on my arm, I want to try to do an eye look that is basically just like a color burst, you know? You know how when you're little and when you would draw a sun, you would just draw like a circle with little lines all around it? I want to do like little sunshine rays all around my eye here so we can show you all of the colors and of course I will talk about the formula as we go through them. Oh my gosh I forgot they sent me a brush. I keep forgetting to use the brush they sent. Okay so the first one they sent me is what is either the six or the nine brush but as you can see it has a pretty thick paint brush tip so I don't think that's really going to suit our 
needs today, but I can definitely see a purpose for this when I'm going for thicker lines. And then this other brush is the Thor brush, which I think is actually going to be perfect for what I need it for today, just doing some thin lines. All right, let's start with red velvet here, my beautiful red mixture, and I'm going to dip into the more primary red side. Somebody asked me the other day how I get the perfect consistency for my water activated liners because they always feel like they add too much or not enough. So I find that the best way to do it is just by dipping your brush in your water cup and then going until you get a good consistency where you can see that the brush is covered in product. Like here is a good consistency. You can see that the brush is covered in product, but it's not dripping anywhere. It's not so covered in product that it's going to drip down your eyes because that can be a nightmare to fix. All right, so I think I'll do my lines like this. Yeah, there we go. There's my lines. You're gonna have to trust the process with this look because I have an idea in mind, but that idea is not gonna be clear until I'm like halfway up and then you'll be like, oh, I see the little sunshine rays thing she's doing. But this is a nice brush. It's not causing the product to bleed or anything. It's applying really, really nicely. All right, so I don't wanna put the deeper red shade on my eye just because I don't really think it's gonna go here. But here is a swatch of the deeper red in Red Velvet. It's a really pretty deeper maroon shade. I really do like it. And let me also show you what the swatch of the two of them in the middle looks like here so you can see. So you have your deepest red here and then next to it is the swatch of the two of them mixed together. Honestly, they look a little similar. I will say out of all of the shades I've tried so far, this one shows the least amount of mixability difference. Like when you mix them together, they kind of just look the same. I feel like this one looks a little deeper, but mixed together, the deeper red definitely comes through more. Whereas now we're gonna dip into the shade Strawberry Cheesecake and you're really gonna see a stark difference between the two pinks. So I'm gonna start on the neon side, really trying to just mix in this bottom edge of the pan here. It's a really vibrant neon pink. I really like this neon pink. And I am gonna include the middle shade for this one. Ugh, you fool, I dropped too much water. Sorry, I'm not calling you guys fool, I'm calling myself a fool. So I dropped a little too much water in here, so now we're gonna have to mix in the middle. But don't worry, I'll still make sure to get a piece of that pastel. But okay, now we can do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the mixed shade. Ugh, very cute though, I do love that shade. It definitely is punchier when you mix it together. Like it's giving more, not pastel yet, but it's looking more vibrant. Another thing you can do when you accidentally mix two shades together right away is just take a paper towel and try to soak up as much of the water as you can, and that can kind of get you back to the original shade. Yeah, honestly, pretty successfully too, cause look, now you can see the split even better. All right, now I can mix my pastel side on the other side here. Ooh, that's a really pretty pastel pink. I really like that shade. So this is the first split liner that I could not wait to dig my paws into when I got it, and I feel like that's for good reason. Like these are two starkly different shades of pink, and you can especially see when you have all three next to each other how different each of those shades are, even the one mixed between. So if there's one I had to recommend so far, I really think you would like strawberry cheesecake, if you like pink, of course. All right, now moving along in our little rainbow here, we don't have an orange, but I feel like I could give us a somewhat orangey yellow if I mix together the two shades in Banoffee. Like I said, best method here is the peace sign method. So we're mixing our shade here. Okay, I like that. It's showing up a little subtle on my eye. It's definitely one of the more neutral shades, so it's not popping quite as much. It is still really pretty though. It's definitely a sunshiny yellow. Like these two yellows mixed together give like pure sunshine to me, whereas I feel like this other yellow is more banana. So let's compare them next to each other. I do notice that the first time you go in with these split liners, you definitely have to add more water than one that's been used a lot. So I had to add way less water to my strawberry cheesecake split liner, which I've been using for a while, versus this Banoffee one. There's kind of just like, not that there's like a layer you have to get through, but the way they're pressed you can see, I'll show you on one that hasn't been used yet. I noticed this with a lot of water activated liners. They have sort of a texture on top that makes them a little tougher to get through the first time. You just have to add a little extra water. Okay, now let's go in with my vibrant yellow shade to see the difference here. 
Oh yeah, that is a huge difference. This yellow shows up way more than the mixed yellow. It's also a very sunshiny shade, but more of like a cartoon sunshiny shade, whereas I feel like the one next to it is more like actual sun rays, more like golden sun rays, and this is more like cartoony sun rays. Still very pretty though, you can definitely see the difference. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna put the mustard on my eyes because we're going with a vibrant rainbow here today, but I will swatch the mustard on my hand for you. All right, and here is your mustard shade. So giving very neutral, giving very skin tone vibes to me, obviously not my skin tone, but it is giving more neutral vibes to me I prefer the two yellows that are the mixed yellow and the vibrant yellow itself but here are all three of them all right now we're moving on to our green shades we got the shade camo which I'm super excited about I think this lime green is so so pretty I'm gonna use all of the greens in this one because I feel like they're all pretty vibrant all right so here's our more lime green Okay, very pretty, borderline pastel. It's like not quite pastel. I do have some pastel greens in my water activated liner collection, which if you wanna see my whole collection, honestly, I gotta do an updated one soon, but I do have a water activated liner collection video that I will link on the screen and down below for you. It's super, super fun, I swatch everything. But this is not my most pastel green, but it's a good in-between pastel to vibrant option for me. Sometimes if you feel a water activated liner pulling a little dry on your eye, like you didn't add enough water, you don't necessarily have to add more water and go back into the pot. You can just wet your brush like I just did and go back over it and it'll make it go on a lot more smoothly. Cool, oh, my little rainbow is coming together. I love the way this looks, it's so fun. All right, now let's mix these two shades together at the bottom and see what we get. Okay, interesting. It's giving very swamp vibes. Okay, and let's see what they look like next to each other. Looking a little similar, looking a little similar for me. Even mixed together in the pan, honestly, they don't look too different. It definitely makes it a little more neutral. Like I feel like it looks a little less borderline pastel when it's mixed together. So that could still be a good option. It's giving more Kermit the Frog than Swamp. I think I was hoping for a little more of a swampy green. I also noticed the darker green got lighter when I put my brush on it, which does happen sometimes. That's why I do find it very beneficial to see swatches of water activated liners because occasionally deeper shades will look lighter once you add water. And that's the vibe that I'm getting from this deeper green. So now let's wet just the deeper green side. Okay, yeah, you can see it got lighter. I know it's only in that little corner here, but you can definitely see that the shade did get lighter when I added water, which is why I think you see less of a difference between the lightest green and the mixed green. Although now that they're drying, you know, that's the other thing is they look lighter and then they dry down darker. Water activated liner is a feat of science that I don't fully understand, but I do love it. Okay, so now here's our deepest green shade. Okay, this shade is where I'm getting my swampy greens from, which I love a good swampy green, so this is really pretty. Definitely living up to the camo name. I for sure see why they would name this camo, because the deepest shade is really like a camo green. So there you have all three greens next to each other. I think there is enough of a difference to justify getting the split liner. I wasn't sure at first, but now that the middle one's dried down, it really does look like a nice mix of the three. So happy to see that. Let's move on to the blue. All right, so this blue blue split liner palette is called slushy I'm gonna start by dipping in to the more pale blue side more of your sky blue you got here I will say I've been absolutely loving this brush this brush has made these lines in a very awkward part of my eye like these lines are going into the crease of my eye and this brush has made it feel very effortless okay so here's what the sky blue shade looks like Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, made it a little thick over here, but that's okay. Now you can really see the color. Oh, I'm excited to see what the mixture looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my little peace sign mixture. Also, if you're ever worried you have too much water on your brush, just tap a couple drops off. That'll help you right out. And now let's swatch that right next to the pastel blue so we can see the difference when the colors are mixed. Okay, yeah, you can for sure see a difference between the pastel and the mixed. Okay, now we have to see the dark blue so we can see if that looks starkly different too. Okay, not seeing a huge difference, but again, I wanna say, well, I guess 
you can see a little bit of a difference, but I think this shade is gonna dry down to be darker, just like the green, so let's give her a minute. Oh, I love the way my little sun's turned out. I feel so fancy and cute, oh, I love it. All right, yeah, even just giving that a few seconds to dry, you can see it dried down deeper. So, you know, sometimes water-activated liner is something that you gotta just give a second. You know, if you're not happy with the color that something looks, if you feel like you wanted it to be deeper, let it dry down before you add on another layer, because adding on too many layers can cause your water activated liner to crack, especially if you're as expressive as I am with your facial features. Although I will say in my experience, the Glisten ones do take quite a bit of layering to crack, whereas other liners I have don't take as much layering to crack. So let me know if you wanna see a video comparing water activated liner formulas, I'd love to do that for you. But this one layers pretty nicely, but still with anything, too much is too much. So don't layer it up too much and it will crack. Give it a second to dry down before you decide if you like the color or not. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I know we have our whole rainbow going here, but I do wanna dip into the black and white here because that is such a good test of a water activated liner formula is how the black performs, particularly how opaque the black is upon first layer, I find is a good form of comparison and how opaque the white is upon the first layer because like I was just saying, you don't wanna layer these guys up too much because they will crack and whites are hard to formulate with water activated liners. Sometimes pastel shades or any shade that has more of a white base can tend to crack more so than others and be a thicker formula. So let's see how opaque this is. I'm gonna take it just on the lash line here. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's going on super opaque right away. Oh, I'm so happy to see that. You see, that took me literally two seconds to cover my whole lash line, and I can tell this does not need to layer up at all. I am going to go in with another swipe just to kind of even this out a little bit here. But as you can see, I'm not having to layer on top of it. I actually haven't even dipped my brush back into the pot. That was one swipe, and it's covered my whole lash line, and it's super opaque. So shout out to the folks at Glisten Cosmetics, because this is a good black. All right, so I was trying to brainstorm how we were going to really showcase this white without just doing another line because like I said whites are tough whites can be too thick I find them to crack more than any other shade that I've used whites and neons both really you know can be can get a little too thick sometimes so I really want to give this white the real true test here so what I'm gonna do is I switch to a smaller brush just one of my nail art brushes here I will link the set down below if you're looking for a really good cheap graphic liner brush set that's actually nail art I'll link those down below for you but I'm gonna use this brush to draw some little clouds because that's gonna be a thick amount of product so we can really test if it's gonna crack. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that, that cloud looks. Again, it's not a perfect cloud, and it did take some layering. I will say I did have to go in with a good two layers here, so not the most opaque in the world, but honestly not that different than any other white I've tried. I think white's just tough to formulate. You know, it's so thick, so you do sometimes have to layer it a little bit, which you wouldn't think you'd have to layer a thicker formula, but you know, it can just be inconsistent in certain areas. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of inconsistency in color deposit. Also, if you notice color inconsistency, that's because a lot of it did get stuck on my eyebrow hairs, which I tried so hard to tweeze before this, but water activated liner will get stuck on your eyebrow hairs. So try to tweeze as much as you possibly can before you go in, but it was pretty easy to go back in with some water like, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't say I was doing it, but I just dipped my brush in some water here and it is making it pretty easy to fill in these inconsistent areas. It's always better to add more water than more product. More product can equal cracking, more water can eliminate cracking, so we love that. All right, yeah, my cloud drawing went way better on the other side where I tweezed my eyebrows better, so dang it, lesson learned. But okay, I know you're gonna think this is excessive and maybe too much, and maybe I should just call it here, but they did send me this beautiful golden shade, which is not a split liner, but it is the shade golden wow how aptly named and i thought it could be fun if it was like a golden it's like a rainbow at the end of the pot of gold do you yeah that's that's my concept here wow that is such a pretty gold Pretty opaque too. I didn't even dip back in. That was one swipe for both eyes. All right, friends, we're almost done here. I wanna give you the full finished look with lashes and everything, so let me go put on some mascara real quick. 
All right, here you have it. Here it is with mascara. And you know, it kind of just pulls it all together. I popped a little blue highlighter on the inner corner, you know, because we're feeling colorful today. I have to say, I was thinking about this as I was doing my mascara, and I was like, oh, I'm so tempted to say it's my favorite formula. Is it really my favorite formula? And I was thinking back on all the other formulas I've tried, you know, Midas Cosmetics, Cake Liner Formula, by Mel Lops, Radioactive Water Inks, the Cut Creaser Water Inks, they did Be Taylor Beauty's Water Inks, Be Elegant Cosmetics Pastel Liners, and I was thinking about all of those, and I honestly have to say, if I had to recommend one brand to beginners, it's Glisten Cosmetics. And I swear I'm not just saying that because I have an affiliate code with them. I have an affiliate code with Midas too, and I'm telling you, I think Glisten's is a little more user-friendly. They're just so effortless. Even the white shade, which is the one that gave me the most trouble, is no worse than any of the other whites I've tried. I think whites are just finicky, you know, especially my eyebrow hairs weren't making it any easier. But of all the shades I tried today, they all are so smooth. They're very easy to work with. None of them have cracked yet. And I put the first one on, like honestly at this point, I've been filming this for like over an hour, so there's no cracking to be seen. And the fact that these are in the crease of my eyes, like I don't know if it's fully showing here that I have hooded eyes, because I've been tilting my chin up for most of it. But if I look straight forward, like, I have eye creases and my eyes have been creasing and the fact that there's still no cracks to be seen here is pretty incredible. I 10 out of 10 recommend checking out the Glisten Cosmetics Split Liners. It's a great bang for your buck. You get so much product in here and if you feel like this is tiny and you're gonna go through this quickly, mm-mm, no, forget about it. Let me show you the oldest water activated liner I have, which is my By Melolaps Radioactive Water Ink in the shade Toxic. Got this in May or June of 2020. Still haven't fully finished it have used this more than any other one in my collection because up until today it was my favorite black but sorry listen cosmetics has definitely replaced my favorite black but you can see how often it's been used it's been used for like a year and a half and i still haven't finished it and it's the same size so you guys you really you will not need to buy a lot of water activated liners you will have them in your collection for a very long time and i just think the split liners are such a great option because you get a three in one all right and with that we have reached the end of the video all right thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel i post new videos every monday wednesday and friday and i would love to have you here let me know what water activated liner graphic liner content you want to see from me next i will link a bunch of graphic liner tutorials down below for you water activated liner content I got it all here on my channel so check out my description box for all of that also all of the other makeup I have on my face today this highlighter will be linked down below also in my description box I will have a bunch of black lives matter resources resources to support the Asian American community and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community so please check out those links if you haven't yet and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye